News 10 at 10. Hello, Acadiana. Thanks for joining us tonight. A Karen Curl High School student is dead after he was shot while getting off of a school bus this afternoon. The shooting also forcing Karen Curl Middle School into lockdown. News 10's Britt LaFasso was first on the scene. Britt joins us now in the studio with what she has learned so far. Well, guys, we now know the victim is 18 year old Jalen Joyner. We're told he was getting off of this school bus when he was ambushed by a group of people who began shooting at him. After shooting him, they ran. Joyner did not survive. Shortly after 3 o'clock this afternoon, the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office was called out to the 200 block of Bradford Drive. That was in response to shots being fired in the area. Uh, responding deputies did find one victim suffering from gunshot wounds. That victim would later be identified as 18-year-old Jalen Joyner, a student at Karen Crow High School. According to the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office, Joyner was getting off the school bus. He was met by gunfire, only steps off the bus. Other students were inside. Only Joyner, however, was injured. He died just hours later at a nearby hospital. Investigators tell News 10 there are multiple suspects in this case. After shooting Joyner, they fled on foot. Anyone who thinks they may have information, may have seen anything or hearing any, you know, uh, rumblings on social media, things like that, for example, go ahead and give us a call over at the sheriff's office. You can also submit a tip anonymously on the sheriff's office's website. Always going ahead to give us that information rather than not, even if you think it's small and it may be insignificant, go ahead and just pass it along anyway, because it may just be that one thing that helps investigators uh, get, you know, one step closer to resolving this case and, and bringing justice for the victim. As of right now, only one of the suspects has been apprehended and detained. I'm told there are multiple other suspects the sheriff's office is looking at. It's unclear right now just how many were involved. Britt, uh, certainly something everyone in Acadiana in shock about. And of course, uh, we see the school buses in a neighborhood. What did the neighbors tell you? What uh, were they outside? I mean, were they getting the mail? Were they in the yard? Did they see or hear anything? Most people didn't hear anything, but I would say dozens of people. Most people were outside of their homes for hours today just wondering what was going on. And yeah. I even talked to a couple of uh, high schoolers that go to Karen Girl High School, and they tell me they're scared to go to school on Monday because they just don't know who the suspects are just yet. All right, we know you were first on the scene for us at 4.30. We thank you for your coverage throughout the day. Of course. Thank you, Britt. Well, out of Vermillion,